Hey guys, TechnoMentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna tell you guys seven things that you should do if your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is lost or stolen. In this video, we're gonna walk you guys through the simple things that you should be doing to protect your data and also possibly getting a replacement device for yourself as well. Of course, losing an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch could be frustrating, but there's a couple things you'll need to do and we walk you guys through all of that. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaway so make sure to hit that subscribe button so first thing you should do before even anything is just take a deep breath you know you might have just misplaced the iPhone it might not be actually stolen or anything like that so you know take it easy on yourself you don't want to over think it and there's a couple ways to go about protecting yourself and you might find it that you might be able to even locate your iPhone and if not if you have the right protection plan you might be getting a new or device that could be a replacement for you so the first thing you want to do in order to help you locate your device is if you're signed into your iCloud account most likely your find my iPhone is on you can actually try to track it and to do that you're simply gonna go over get on a computer or another phone doesn't matter you're gonna want to go to the iCloud website you're gonna go to iCloud.com and then forward slash find and once you do that you're gonna be going to the iCloud website where you can actually find your iPhone, iPad, or your iPod Touch. Simply, what you're gonna do, go ahead and do is log in with your uh, credentials here for your Apple account. So we're gonna go ahead, simply log in to our account here. Just quickly hiding this from you guys as this is gonna be pretty much your um, iCloud information. So hop onto a computer, or if you have another phone or older device, you can also do that as well. So we're just entering our email and password here for our demo account that we have set up. And most likely you're going to get some sort of option like this. Essentially, you're going to be logged into your iCloud account because that's how you can actually go about finding your devices that are connected and you'll notice that once you do that all of your devices that is signed in to that iCloud account that was logged in are going to display over here and you can actually start tracking them and to do that it's going to be pretty straightforward here you're going to go ahead and look at the device and whatever you have here it's going to be online if it was connected uh, to your data or something and then you can actually track that on the location of the map This will kind of help you figure out where it is whether it be home your office Maybe at your workplace maybe at a friend's or family place or somewhere you went to you can go ahead and track it At least you'll know of where your iPhone might have been disappeared and go to that place by you know driving or wherever you you need to uh, and if that's not the case, you still can't find it, whatever your location you went to, you can actually go ahead and mark a device as what's known as in terms for this one, you can actually go ahead and mark it in lost mode. Don't erase the iPhone yet, and we're going to explain why. If you can't find it and you think you really lost it or it has been stolen put it in a lost mode once ha what's going to happen is once you put in lost mode you can do a couple things here you can actually lock the phone remotely with a passcode so that's keeping your information secure you could also this will also disable apple pay if you have apple pay enabled and the other thing you could also do is add a custom message to the contact so that you can uh, you can so the person that finds it or sees it can actually go ahead and return the device so you might want to put like a reward if you find this device and put a number to contact or something like that and that will happen and you want to do that and of course if you or at a location and let's say you think the phone is in the house you can actually play a sound it'll play a sound on the device so if you're in the house and you see that it's at your house but you can't find it keep on playing that sound maybe you'll be able to find it and next thing you want to do of course step three is if these two methods aren't working you can't find it you put it in lost mode is go ahead and report this missing device to your local law enforcement if you think that 
the phone is actually stolen or lost. And once you do that, they're going to most likely ask you for the serial number. The serial number of the phone can be found multiple ways. Of course, you can find it uh, by if you had the original box here of the device, you can actually find the serial number right here on the box here. It's going to be that serial number. If not, you can also look at the details here on the phone uh, of course, on your website that you're on here as you can see we're not able to see but on the regular full website you can actually go ahead and look at your devices and it should tell you tell you which iPhones you have and their serial number there so that's another way to go about it of course the next thing you want to do is this is going to be really helpful where we said that if you have what's known as a uh, Apple Care Plus with theft and loss, you can actually file a claim. And to file a claim, there's a couple ways to do it. You can actually, you have to Google that uh, to Apple Care file a claim. You're gonna search that up and it will come up to here pretty much. You can go ahead and sign in to start a claim. So it's gonna be the yeah, Apple support uh, theft lock which you can google for it and you'll find that link here and it will allow you to go ahead and start a file a claim by signing in and things like that you can follow the step pretty easy to do that the next thing you want to do is of course is that after you find that you know you have filed a claim if you had a claim for it is the next thing we're going to want to do is actually erase the device um, of course if you can't located and you already filed a claim you want to um, go ahead remotely erase the device but don't click on this yet unless uh, your claim has been approved because apple support might be looking to track it for you and trying to figure out where that means is for you so don't do anything if you're not ready to go ahead and do that yet so keep uh, you know, don't erase until you get your claim approved so that way Apple can actually go ahead and track it for you. So that's important. This will completely erase your Apple account. You'll never be able to find that, but it will erase the phone. And it's uh, it's kind of a scenario where you know for sure you're going to get a replacement device or you're really certain that, you know, that phone is completely gone and you won't ever find it. You can go ahead and erase it. The next thing, of course, you want to do, step number six, is contact your wireless carrier. So you want to contact your wireless carrier to let them know that you lost it or it was reported stolen, whatever it is, so that the carrier can disable your account from making calls, texts, or data usage because you know the next thing you want to do is find out you get a really big bill or someone is using your device to do something mischievous or things like that so do that contact your carrier and let them know you lost your phone of course uh, the next thing you want to do you know if you have your apple care if you have the lost in prevention and you were able to get that approved and everything was good to go and you know what you should do is probably you will get a tracking number that they give and then you'll be able to get your device and you can pretty much are safe to go and if you want to go ahead and completely erase the other phone you can by hitting that erase and it will erase that phone remember if you erase this phone this will also allow the next person to be able to use the phone so if you don't want them to be using the phone or you don't want your information completely gone don't do that so it's this is the last step you usually want to do after you get your uh, phone approved for your if replacement approved either through your carrier or the apple care sometimes if you bought it through a carrier they might be able to replace it if you bought the theft and loss lost warranty with it so it's all going to depend on what you do here and that's why it's important to do the file the claim with your law, local law enforcement because it'll help you so hopefully this video helped whether you're looking to find, locate your phone by signing into your iCloud on the website by going to iCloud.com slash find or another device by navigating on the map playing the sound uh, putting in the lost mode if you really lost it because what you can do is after you find the device you can uh, undo the loss mode there by entering your information and of course after you file the claim and figure out all that situated and think you're good to go you can go ahead and erase the phone if you're comfortable with it so hopefully th these tips were helpful for you know anyone that lost their iPhone iPad or even iPod touch and you want to know what to do so uh, hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time